Hey guys, it is Sunday. We're kicking off another vlog and we're about to go to Ikea to get some stuff. I mean, most of what we're doing is just kind of looking around, but I do want another one of these for some of my dolls because they don't all fit in here. I also wouldn't mind getting a couple side tables for this spare bedroom. I think this thing would make a good side table. I should actually measure it though first. I also would like a lot of fake plants. A lot, because I want a lot in here. I want a lot on the main floor. Where is my tape measure? Yeah, and maybe look for some storage things that could go on my storage shelves, because you know I need storage within the storage. So any kind of little organizers or something, I'll just see what they have. Because usually when I go to Ikea, I mean, I don't go there that often, but when I do, I'm usually looking for bigger furniture items like desks and bookcases. Okay, it's just over 18 inches. And I never look at like that final section, which has smaller items. So I'd like to do that. Getting ideas for behind my, well, just in my art room console table. Kind of behind, like for my streamer setup. It's a bit, not as long as I thought I would get for one, but very cute. I like the wood. I like how this one's longer, but I'm not convinced I want that look, you know? Oh, I think this is the style similar to the one I was looking at, but a lighter color. I just don't like the crack, and it might actually be too long. <laughs> it's gonna be like the desk in my art room. This one. It might be too long though. But I wanted like a big dining table size desk, but now I'm thinking maybe not. I need something a little smaller. And it's got that crack. I mean, this is smaller. I was really gonna antique something, like go antiquing and, but I don't think it would really match the look of the room. This is a decent size actually for a desk. Well, I mean, it's not huge. It's kind of like that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll just keep it in mind. I want it a little longer, I think. Like a nice big workspace. I also just love, like, this one's kind of cottage core feeling. If I could do some measurements at home, I could always come back to, but it's nice seeing it in person because I was eyeing it up online for a long time. I had a tab open on my phone for this table since Vancouver. Keeping an eye out for something that can go in front of my pegboards, like at the base. This is probably too big, but I love the white and wood combo. And it's open, I'd have to still have to put something on the back of it to hide the end cap of the shelf. This is cute. I made a cute desk. <laughs> I don't like the leg placement though, but it's because the sides fold down. This could be shelf organization. I think it's for shoes, but it could be for whatever you want. I don't know if I like the wire look though. Don't like. And there's that side table. We could do a different style, although the, the, the area is kind of narrow. That bottom rack doesn't look very functional. I mean, yeah, the more I look at that one, the more I like it. Cushion for my gamer chair so my coochie can breathe. A couple 99 cent plants. <laughs> I need a whole row of these. Egg boards. So I mentioned having kind of standing organizers, like ones with multiple slots for some of my packing supplies. I grabbed three of these because I can stack them and then I can have stuff in them for my packing station. So I can glue them together if I want or just leave them as is, but yeah. Not a fan of all this wire stuff though. Ooh, wait. Oh. That doesn't look that nice, actually. <laughs> These wooden boxes would be really nice. I would still need, like, something to go over them, though, because I'm trying to break up the height of my big storage shelves. But these are nice and paintable. Those plant stands are cute. Okay, we finally got to the plant section. I did grab a few. Like, look at this. I could just slip one into here. One, what about the other three? You're right, we need multiples. I mean, this I could just paint, but also if you just slip it into something. Boom! Oh my god. I need at least a few of these. I'm like, okay, a couple for the art room, a couple for upstairs. We'll look at other ones too, but. 
There are bigger gold ones and there are basket ones too. Hmm. Hmm. Want some that don't have leaves that are too dark? Oh, we could have some dark ones. Fake Monstera. Well, I've got some plants. <laughs> A lot of small ones. Uh, I'm not gonna get that wooden console table I saw. But, okay, bin 21. Oh, bin 21, right. Row well, 8, bin 21. We'll get those two nightstands and the glass display case, which I almost forgot about. I walked in here and I'm like, wait, I <laughs> had to look up the code on the computer. Oh, it was the TIS, it was this one. Oh, this isn't there. Because it had the raised edge here, yeah. And that's this. Yeah. Okay. Do we need one of those big rollies, big flat ones? Probably, eh? Because we still have the big glass thing, too. I was torn between black and white, and it looks like they only have white in stock. Because I prefer the white, but the two that I have are black, so it won't really go, but that's fine. So, yeah, number one and a number two. Mm -hmm. Is that your guys' stuff there? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, is that in your way? I, yeah, I just need to get one of those things. <laughs> I can't believe I set my camera on the one thing someone else needed. Oops. <laughs> okay. Woohoo. Here are fries for the fish and chips. And they wouldn't let me sub meatballs, so uh, potato and meatballs. Okay. I'm pushing some hot dogs. What is this? We're gonna build these right away, otherwise they're gonna sit in their box for a month. Kinda like this one is in its box still. Wait, this isn't the right one. Just kidding! <laughs> Okay, my battery died before I finished putting it together, but it wasn't too bad. I did have to take the front of the drawer off because I missed putting some dowels in there. But look, nice. And we looked at lamps at Ikea too, but weren't completely sold on any of them. Okay, it kind of looks better without the light on because the light's not a very nice color. Oh yeah. This thing's hard to get all the wrinkles out because it's stitched in some spots. It just has that look to it. Guests have a better setup than we do. This is ours. <laughs> I got better curtains too. I just spent way too long scrubbing this countertop because it has this brown sticky goo on it, especially along the side and in the back corner. I wonder if it's because they had their toaster oven here. At least it was staged that way when we viewed the house. But I've tried a lot of stuff to try to wipe it off, but it really needs to be scraped off. It's so sticky, if I got it on my fingers, I couldn't get it off. And I don't think I did a perfect job, but it's a start anyway. You can feel it when you wash, your cloth just starts sticking like nasty. And I'm just gonna go in with the stainless steel 
stuff. And give some of this a wipe. We hang our towels here, so there's usually drip marks. And then once I've got these appliances wiped down, I can move on to the floors, which I'll vacuum, and then Swiffer. The fridge isn't that bad, but it's so hard to not touch right here when you close the fridge. Because it's so wide, you have to reach all the way around. And this edge gets gunky too. Although not all of this wipes off, it's weird. <laughs> there are always little bits. It could probably be polished out. It's like a scratch remover kit or something. Okay, floors are all cleaned. I'm gonna open up some of these. Oh, I could have just done that. Okay. Look how cute. <laughs> and I have some different varieties. And I got two of each of these sets. I just have some stuff set aside to go downstairs already. And then this can be for up here, I guess. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what else do we have in here? We have another little BB. This one was sold separately. I got the scrubby. These things come with a handle, but I just got it without the handle. It's just good for scrubbing potatoes or something. I need one that's specifically for food. Look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> I got a rolling pin because we don't have one and I use our pepper grinder over there. That purple thing. <laughs> I sometimes use that. I don't need a rolling pin often, but it's like half the time I need a rolling pin, it's for diamond paintings, but <laughs> yeah. Now I have one. Hi, what does that mean? Hello to you, hello to you too, Mr. <coughs> Mr. Flowerpot. Whoa -ho -ho. Kiki, I just washed these countertops. Look at all that. <laughs> Makes me so happy. We do have some space at the top of the counters on this side, so it'd be nice to put some of the plants. Like maybe this one can go right up in that corner. And I have my cottagecore plates from Valley Village I can put up there too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's now the next day. And it's dark and dreary. It's a dark and dreary day. Rainy. Yup. I wanna bust out the fall decorations at least and get some of those put up and arrange some of the new plants. But I also wanna get started on my next oil painting stuff, like get the board gessoed, maybe start with some color in the background, maybe some acrylic or something, I don't know. But um, I don't have a board to work on. And so I was thinking of my options, cause I could go to Home Depot, get a big board and cut it down to size, but I'm not really in the mood to do that today. And then I was looking at Michael's online, cause they have some wood boards, but they are sold out of the size I want. And I'm like, well, I could do a canvas instead. And then I thought, well, I could go to a different art store, like go a little further out. And there are a couple close to each other that I wouldn't mind checking out. I mean, I'm, I'm at least gonna go to one first. And I was thinking I could also get Copic refills while I'm there, but that means I need to go through what refills I have and like mark down which ones I have and what I'm missing. I mostly need some really pale colors, but I need to at least quickly go through them to figure out what I need. Cause I swear every time I go to use my Copics now, it's like pain cause I'm, <laughs> all of them are drying out, so. So this drawer stayed somewhat organized during the move. This one, not so much. <laughs> Although a lot of these have shifted over time. They're not in proper rows anymore. Like they were more organized at one point, but at least they're all standing up. But I got a whole bunch of refills at one point and didn't mark down which ones I got. So I'm probably missing at least half the R's on here. Point three. So my Copic markers are all chows and sketches, except I have one original. And that original I bought here in Calgary like over 10 years ago. That was my very first Copic marker ever, actually. Oh, this pen's kind of busted. This one's got a bent nib, but hey, it at least looks juicy. Oh yeah. But I had purchased my first set of Copics. I got that 36 Chow set. I had ordered that online, but I hadn't received it yet. And we went to Swinton's when we were in town visiting family. And 
I saw their Copic marker display and thought I just had to get one, even though I had more coming. And I don't know why I got a Copic original, because is, that is the one and only Copic original I own, and I'm not sure why I chose that one. Maybe just to try a different marker style? I don't know. But yeah, R24. My first ever Copic was bought there, although I don't think I'm going to go to Swinton's today. It's pretty close to Kensington's, but... Kensington seems bigger, at least based on photos. We'll see. I hope I'm brave enough to film in there. It's like when you're with someone, it's easier to film because you just sound like you're talking to the person next to you, right? But when you're by yourself, it's like awkward, especially in small stores. The smaller the store, the more awkward it is. <laughs> there are also a couple Valley Villages near there. I might hit up just at least look at their frames, see what else they got, but yeah, there's two kind of close by. At least it seems close on the map. <laughs> Could check that out. Now, Past Bailey made this list. Oh, I'm unsure about this one. I wrote crystallized. That means it's one of the, the black barreled Copics, the anniversary Copics. A lot of them have gotten all crystallized and gunky. I don't know what it is up with those ones specifically. So getting a refill, is that going to help me that much? I really need a whole new marker for that one. And so, yeah, I've got some written here. I'm going to grab just any light ones I can find. Like, I'm missing the B quad zero and double zero. Those would be nice. Um, <laughs> this list got way longer than I thought. And honestly, there's probably more I need that I just haven't written down. And these three are all three I already own, but they're just so crusty. I think they're beyond saving. And there are probably more crusty ones beyond saving, but I'm not going to go through it all. This list is already gigantic. I'm going to have to bring a pen just to cross stuff off as I grab it. I will be surprised if I get even a third of these, honestly. Physical stores don't usually carry all colors, and so my hopes are not high. But it's a start, and I can always look online for the rest. Windy, we have arrived. I'm so nervous about filming today. Some days I don't mind. Today, I mind. They have some, like, thick ones here. And there's some at the front that are 50% off. I was thinking of getting the flat pieces of wood, but I like, I kind of like those. This place is so busy. I can't film. And the hardboard I need is like right up at the till. <laughs> Help me. Just give you a quick look at the store though. Yeah. Go peek. <laughs> These are all refills. Oh yeah. I'm loading up the basket. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm grabbing for boards. I'm getting some pretty big ones. I got three that are thicker and then just some skinny ones because skinny ones are so cheap. So three little, three at this size. Yeah. So many refills. Oh my God. I got all the ones I needed except two refills and then one marker. Although one of the refills I'm missing is B00, which is probably the one I've been hurting for the most. <laughs> But still, amazing. I did not expect to get that many. But yeah, in terms of Copic refills, that's the best stocked store I've ever seen. Shout out to Kensington Art Supply. <laughs> okay, now on to Valley Village. Hmm. You guys, look at these teddy bear doorknobs. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Mushroom. Oops. I'm grabbing this cute little dish. Handcrafted in Australia. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I found more frames. Mm. I had grabbed this one. It's a little rough, but I love the color and it comes with a mat, which I could use in that frame or in a different frame. Help. I can't stop putting stuff in my cart. <laughs> so I'm at Velu Village number two, and I just drove past a Goodwill. I didn't know we had Goodwill in Canada. I've never seen one, and I just drove past one, so might have to hit that up after Valley Village. <laughs> Which is funny, because I realized there's a third Valley Village on the way home, so I was going to hit that up, but now I'm like, am I really doing all three and Goodwill? I don't know. So cute. <laughs> Well, so far not as many hits at this location, although I have some frames, got three there. And I was egg plate that I thought being a good palette. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. This 
this better be OG. $50? This would be interesting shelf storage. I think it's too big though. You either have to cut the top off or turn it. It's kind of gunky. I did find this though, which needs to be just paint it up, take the wheels off. Maybe even change out the knobs. <gasps> Teddy bear knobs. Yeah. Okay, heading into Goodwill. So many people, very busy. So cute, oh my god. It's tempting, but I don't do miniatures. It's a bit big for Calico Critter. Yeah. Well, that was a complete bust. Nothing really stood out to me, and a lot of stuff is really expensive. Like, some of it's priced okay, the rest of it's even worse than Valley Village, if that's even possible. I didn't think it was possible, but it is. So now I'm like, hmm, maybe I do want to go to the third Valley Village. All right, well, this Valley Village was a bust. It's gone. <laughs> And here we are at Valley Village number four-ish. I really want some oval frames. Are these worth it? They're like all cracked. Probably need a new paint job. I might repaint this frame, but I actually really like the art inside. This way of displaying places is way better than other places. <laughs> okay, this is a decent find, a bunch of cork. Because what I want to do is make a bunch of little pin boards. That's what I want a lot of oval frames for. And other shapes too, but I want to put nail pins on several small boards instead of one big board. And so I need a cork board like that. Fancier corn holders. We just have cheap plastic ones. Well, I don't know if I like that color. <laughs> There are mini candle holders in here, and they're actual metal. <laughs> it's so tempting, but I'm like, what are you gonna do with them? Finally back home. I'm scared I'm gonna be giving myself a monster <laughs> vlog to edit. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm gonna throw this in the wash right away, because I wanna put it on the table. It's a table runner. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cut the tassels off though. They're kinda gross looking. Now I thought this was a gorgeous find, because I'm a sucker for anything carved wood. And I think it might be for holding decorative spoons. And I don't have any of those, but I could put something else in it. <laughs> Paintbrushes? Hang little things? I don't know, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's hefty too. Look at even the side. Yeah. So I feel like this would be a downstairs kind of thing. My first instinct is to put a lot of stuff downstairs and I'm like, you know you have the whole house now. Like, I mean, we did it the old place, but I didn't want to go too ham on decorating because we were just renting and I knew we wouldn't be there super long term. So yeah, my mind always like, oh yeah, for the art room, for the art room. And I'm like, you have too much stuff. Some of it's got to go elsewhere. But yes, yeah, so now I'm going to peel stickers off everything and wipe stuff down. This better come off nicely or I'm going to be mad. My poor little Bambi. Isn't that just so cute though? What the heck? I want my palette here for the back of it. <laughs> These I love. I might repaint. This one I don't actually mind the way it is. It's just a little, I don't know, kind of scuffed up. It's lighter at the bottom. That might be okay. Maybe once I wipe it down. But this thing looks really handmade. And there's no brand on it. They put the sticker on after the fact because it didn't have a sticker on it and I had to ask them. They're like $3.99 and I'm like, okay. That's for this room here because this terracotta color is for this room. This is actually one of our outdoor pillows that I brought in here. One of the patio pillows. Just to kind of give myself an idea. Curtains will eventually change too. There's a lot to do, honestly. And there's not really much for mantle space because TV's not mounted, but I feel like it's kind of pointless to mount that small one. I don't know. <laughs>
Okay, now it's time for a daytime reveal. The floors are a little crummy because of like unpacking everything. There's box shreds. I just, I made a mess, which I need to clean up. But we've still got mess down here. I've got stuff that just doesn't have a home yet. I have a lack of surfaces to put stuff on. I actually hate the way the mantle's looking right now, but it's just something. <laughs> just got some of the items off the floor so that's okay this is the pot that this plant is going to go into i brought it in here to see if i didn't mind the color because i've been planning on spray painting it and i'm kind of leaning towards spray painting it for a moment i was like oh i don't need all shades of terracotta in here to be really light but i just feel like i want that to be lighter you know there's just like a lot of darkness with like the floors the cupboards i want it a little on the lighter side so yeah, that's gonna get repotted into there. We have our little glass right here, little Korox. <laughs> it's funny because when I ordered them, they showed as being like a wood texture and then they actually ended up being orange, like not even close to the image, but I actually ended up loving it. Like it matched our old place. It's now matching this room, so it worked out. I have one of the patio cushions in here. Actually, all the patio cushions are in here just laying there because we don't have a trunk on our deck to put them in, like a little chest sort of thing so they just come in here when it rains and they just sit there this is a bit much down here I wanted something circular but I couldn't find our circular placemats they're probably in a different box upstairs I just have one that's currently on the dining room table so I just folded up this tablecloth and put these rectangular placemats there and I'm like okay it kind of works it's a bit much could maybe use some taller stuff in the middle or something I don't know but whatever it works out for a quick fall decor. I put up these orange lights even though it's more of like Halloween decor than fall but whatever. A little pumpkin and a little plant. This is the new base for this because this is also getting a new pot and I also want to paint that pot. That one is glazed so it's gonna be quite a bit of work to like sand it down and then respray paint it but that's the new bottom piece to go under the pot. The rug looks great there. It just matches everything. I'm just realizing how dirty the counters look. I did not give them a wipe after I was done with everything last night. Okay, then we have the counters. I love this corner. I love this antiqued jug. Remember that from when I went to Victoria? Yeah. <sighs> so gorgeous. And I stuck these in there and got this little baby. My ring holder. These don't really match right here, this salt and pepper shaker. And I knew that when I bought them, I was like, they're too red. But I figured if I didn't like them in the kitchen, I could just use them as decor down in my art room or something. But at least for now, let's keep it. It looks better than the Pac-Man one. And then for the pepper grinder, I just put it in the spice drawer. I need to do something with this. I need. I want to get spice containers because I also have a whole bunch of stuff up here. So it's a bit of a mess. But anyway, that's that. This I'm actually not a huge fan of. Like alone, it looks great. It's a great way to hold our most used utensils. But we have white jug over there and then white jug here. This one's more of an off-white and it's got a matte finish. This one's glossy. Like they just kind of jug jug. It's a bit too much. I think if I just got something that was a nice soft green to go there instead, that'd be good. I mean, I was, I was on the lookout for anything green or terracotta or white. And I do like the idea of this, but just with that jug, no. And then I don't have anything else here. Like there's no green, right? Cause I didn't want to put a plant. I had one initially and I took it away cause I didn't want too much on the counters. I could have something hanging down maybe, but <laughs> I figured why not just swap that for something green, but that'll do for now. And up top here is my favorite part. I love how this turned out. I've got my plates up there. This jug, I think I will spray paint. I thought, let's just look at it and see, but I think it looks too brown. And so I am going to spray it lighter. And just because I love those pops of orange up there to help brighten things and add some color. So yeah, that one will get spray painted whenever I get around to doing all the spray painting. But yeah, and then this kind of feels like this watering can should be a pl another plate. I do have one other one, but it's it's got a scalloped edge and it's very pink and red, so it doesn't it doesn't go. But I could always put one there if I want. Although maybe it is nice to break up the plate thing and have the watering can, because I don't I don't really know where else I would put the watering can. And this corner one I absolutely love, especially with the hanging plant. Like I love how I have some bits hanging down. These ones are high enough; they're not going to be a fire hazard when cooking. And then the other ones are in the corner, so you can still open the cupboards and it's not gonna interfere. So ugh, I'm just loving this so much. 
I would love to eventually replace these with something colorful, like again, either kind of a terracotta color or green, just to brighten things up because it's like gray on grayish brown. It's too much gray, too much darkness. Need to brighten it up, but these are really nice chairs and they're doing the job for now. Over here, I have a couple things, just a couple plants, and then I've been using these. I used these to decorate at the old place too, so I have one left out here. Don't know if that thing will stay out, but at least those two. Again, don't want to clutter up the counters too much. I was putting some decor in this window, but then I stole it to put other places. So the only remaining thing is this. <laughs> oh, and up there I had to put like, you probably saw it earlier, I had to use boxes so that everything would be raised up because the lip goes down, right? And so I had to put shipping boxes for my store up there <laughs> to lift everything up. Now coming back over here, I ended up putting this thing here. Ideally, there'd be some kind of higher console table there, but just, you know, it's a place to put that little table for now because I have no idea where this thing's gonna go. And just since we don't have something right now, this just looks better because before I had just a couple plants sitting there. And so this is a great temporary solution. Cogs were over here and the Lumiere up there are probably eventually gonna go maybe on this ledge and going down to the basement. I have this huge ledge. There's already a linear Cogsworth there, but huge ledge to decorate. But uh, yeah, I just figured this is fine for now. And then I put this garland around here and I had the genius idea because I was trying to figure out how to attach it. And the ends of these have, have loops, probably so you could hook them on like command hooks or nails. But what I did is with these here, the leaves, they pop off. And so I'd pop the leaves off, put the ring on, and then put the leaves back on. So it's holding it in place. And that's also how I connected two, because these are two, it's two garlands end to end. So, yeah. And then in the dining room, we have this guy. I had put out the green one first, and I like the way that looked with the orange pumpkins. But then I was like, well, where do I put this leafy one for fall? And so I did a little swap. Although I then ended up <laughs> bringing this other table down and ended up needing another table runner anyway. That was the coffee table on the main floor at our old place and I always had a table runner for the holidays, like either this one or, I don't even remember, but yeah. <laughs> so a few fall things. I stuck that extra plant back there for now. Um, this is not done at all. I started just throwing extra stuff over here and then ended up leaving the rest of it on the pile in the living room. So that is not where this stuff's gonna necessarily go. <laughs> Especially not that jug with that stuff, but whatever. I'm just trying to get some stuff out of the way. This box here contains the shelves for this, so probably should get those in soon. But yeah, just felt good to get out some decor. Some of it's fall stuff, some of it's just kind of perma decor. This makes me so happy seeing it. <laughs> Finally adding a bit of color to this kitchen. And this rug makes me inexplicably happy. So, yes. So hard to film in here without the light just making the room look so dark. Here we go. Just swing the camera down so we don't really see the windows. There we go. It is a nice bright room. This looks dark if you film the windows like bleh. All right, that's that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And here's my hair curled. It's still very bright. <laughs> but honestly, it's kind of growing on me, especially the way it looks on my natural color. But yeah, even though it's really bright, it's, I don't know, it's still cute. I, I, my main fear is you know, it matching my clothes. I have a lot of like baby pink clothes and turquoise clothes and I'm like, 